The second lesson in the dynamics unit is about gravity and weight. Newton's law of universal gravitation tells us that the gravitational force of attraction between two objects is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the objects and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So this part says that Fg, the force of gravity, is directly proportional to m1 times m2. And this part tells us that Fg is proportional to 1 over r squared. If we put these together and include a constant, big G, we get the equation for the force of gravity. It's Fg equals g m1 m2 all over r squared. Fg stands for the force of gravity. M stands for mass. R is the distance between the centers of the objects. And G is the universal gravitational constant. You can find this value on your reference table. It's 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Let's see how gravity and Newton's third law are related to each other. When two objects are attracted by the force of gravity, the forces they each feel are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Let's take a look at a pretty extreme example. Here's the Earth, and here's an apple. Let's pretend the apple is near the Earth's surface. The apple feels a force down due to the Earth. Newton's third law tells us, then, that the Earth must feel a force up due to the apple. Not only does the Earth feel a force up toward the apple, the forces are equal. The apple and the Earth both feel the same force. How is this possible? Well, the forces are equal, but the apple has a very, very, very small mass compared to the Earth. Therefore, the apple experiences a large acceleration. Because the, ma because the mass of the Earth is so great, the acceleration of the Earth is pretty much imperceivable to us. So though they both feel the same amount of force, they don't both react to that force the same amount. Let's take a look at an example of the gravitational force. What is the gravitational force of attraction between Earth and the Sun? Well, I need to tell you that the mass of the Sun is 1.99 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. Everything else we need to know is on your reference tables. As always, we'll start with the equation, Fg equals g m1 m2 over r squared, and we'll plug in all the information that we know. The mass of the Earth is 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. If we carefully do all of that math, remembering to square the distance between the Earth and the Sun, we should find that the force of gravity between the Earth and the Sun is 3.5 times 10 to the 22 Newtons. Please take a moment and see if you can get the same answer plugging those numbers into your calculator. Let's take a look at how two objects of different masses are both affected by the Earth's gravitational field. Here's the Earth, and here's that apple again. And that apple feels some force down towards the Earth. And here's a skydiver. He also feels some force down toward the Earth. We're going to take a look at these simultaneously. So for any object, the force that they feel is equal to the product of their mass and acceleration. In this case, we know that the force these objects are feeling is the force of gravity. We also know how to calculate the force of gravity. Right? Big G times the mass of the object times the mass of the Earth divided by the distance between the objects and the Earth squared. If you look at both of these, in each case, there's a mass in common on either side of the equal sign. We can cancel those out. On the left, we can cancel out the mass of the apple, and on the right, we can cancel out the mass of the skydiver. In both cases, this leaves us with the acceleration of the objects as big G times the mass of the Earth divided by the distance between the objects and the Earth squared. It should not surprise you that two objects, even of different masses, both experience the same acceleration near the surface of the Earth. Let's look at this in more detail. This quantity is what we define as little g. Little g is equal to 
big G, the universal gravitational constant, multiplied by the mass of the Earth, divided by the distance between objects that are near the surface of the Earth and the center of the Earth. This is essentially the radius of the Earth. If we plug in those values, we find that, surprise, surprise, the value of little g is 9.81 meters per second squared, or 9.81 newtons per kilogram. If we call it meters per second squared, we're defining this as the acceleration due to gravity. If we call it newtons per kilogram, we're defining this as the gravitational field strength. Unless the object is actually accelerating because of gravity, we are going to say that g equals 9.81 newtons per kilogram. Here again is the equation for the force of gravity between the Earth and some object near the surface of the Earth. All this stuff here is the same as little g, so we can actually rewrite this equation as fg equals the mass of the object times g. Let's clean this up a little bit. Here we have two equations, both for fg. This equation describes the gravitational force between any two masses anywhere in the universe. We're going to refer to this equation as the equation for gravitational force. This equation here describes the gravitational force between Earth and an object near its surface. We're going to describe this equation as the equation for weight. Let's take a look at an example of a weight problem. What is the weight in newtons of a 75 kilogram high school student? Well, we'll start with the equation Fg equals mg. Plug in our givens, 75 kilograms and 9.81 newtons per kilogram. We'll find that a 75 kilogram high school student weighs 736 newtons. Let's summarize this lesson. First of all, gravitational force is directly proportional to the masses of the objects. It's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the objects. The equation for gravitational force is Fg equals g m1 m2 over r squared. This is used for any two objects anywhere in the universe. The equation for the weight of an object is Fg equals mg. This is used for any object that is near Earth's surface.